Hey everyone, Dr. Tom Cheney here from Living Health Integrated Medicine in Annapolis. In today's video, I'm going to discuss four laboratory markers that you should be making sure that your doctor is running for you. I'm going to go over these specific markers because these are commonly missed when I look at patients bringing me their lab work for review that other providers have already run. So these are commonly missing, so I want to go over these four today. The first one is called C-reactive protein. This is a protein that's produced by the liver, and it's a sign of inflammation in the body. So we want this marker to be below three. Uh, the lower, the better for this marker. So marker number two is homocysteine. Homocysteine is amino acid in the body, and it's a building block for proteins. And what we know is that um, when homocysteine builds up in the body, that's a sign of deficiency of certain B vitamins, specifically B6, B9, and B12. So those B vitamins are necessary to take that homocysteine in the body and convert it into a substance called methionine. And without those B vitamins, we can't make that conversion, and then homocysteine builds up in the body. When that builds up in the body, it's also an indication of risk factor for, for heart issues, cardiovascular issues. So that is an important marker, as well as C-reactive protein, another cardiac risk factor marker. So those two are very important. So we have C-reactive protein, homocysteine, and then the next one is fasting insulin. Insulin resistance is a big issue in this country, and we know diabetes is, is on the rise. It's an epidemic. So we want to stay on top of fasting insulin because it's a better indicator of insulin resistance in the body. We see a lot of patients come in that have their glucose check, fasting glucose, and their hemoglobin A1C, and that's, those are two common markers when we're looking at sugar, but we want to catch it and be proactive before we get into that diabetic range. And one way we can do that is by checking fasting insulin, and that'll tell us and give us an indication of insulin resistance in the body. So normal is below five, but ideally we want this marker to be below three. So that's fasting insulin. So the next one is vitamin D, and vitamin D is super important in the body for so many different functions. It acts more like a hormone than a vitamin, and it's just um, super important in, in so many different, uh, like your immune system depends on it. And when I run it in patients, I see that it's chronically deficient in so many different patients. Now, the lab range is typically 40 to 80, 40 to 100. Now, 40 is really minimal. That's, um, that's not optimal, it's really minimal. So we wanna optimize this. I'd say 60 to 80 is really optimizing vitamin D in the body. And I'd suggest getting it run at least twice a year. You know, so um, during the summer, you're out in the sun more, your body's gonna be able to produce more vitamin D versus the winter time. So getting it checked in the springtime, in the fall time, so you know where your levels are at and then you know what, uh, what levels to supplement with in order to keep it in that optimal range. So I hope you got some great information, and next time you get lab testing done by your doctor, you should make sure that you have these four laboratory markers run to make sure that you're optimizing your health. Hope you got some great information out of this video, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.